We are talking about the GMAT today and looking specifically at sentence correction problems on the GMAT. We'll be focusing on subject verb agreement, which is one of the grammatical errors that is tested in sentence correction. Um, so you should have a fairly good idea of what subject verb agreement is. Um, subjects affect their verbs. In English, if you have a singular subject, you need to have a singular verb. If you have a plural subject, you need to have a plural verb. Um, and this is pretty straightforward. But there's one particular rule that students tend to forget, and that's what we're going to go over today. And that involves compound subjects when you're using and or or. When you have a sentence using and, you create a compound subject, and that leads to a plural verb. So Frankie and Johnny eat ice cream. When you have an or, the rule is a little bit different. It depends on what is the last noun in the list of subjects. So in this case, we have Frankie, which is singular. Then we have sisters, which is plural. We have a couple of sisters here. And so that's going to affect our verb and make it plural. So Frankie or her sisters eat ice cream. Finally, um, if the last subject in the list is singular, like here, it says her dad, we're going to have a singular verb. So her sisters or her dad eats ice cream. So remember on the test, if you see an or or a nor, to consider this rule. 